The Mandela Effect, uh, for whatever reason, um, seems to not be able to affect music, uh, a lot of pop music, rock music. Uh, there's a lot of what would uh, be called residue among um, music and shit. Uh, music and shit, that's what they call it, that's the scientific term. Uh, and I just found one recently and I got there because uh, this this real hokey song kept popping up in a synchronicity way. How you know these things happen where they, you'll just see it here and then you'll see it in these inexplicable places. It'll just keep turning up. And it's a song called Key Largo. It's a 70s song. And it was like, as a kid, I felt it was fucking cringe before I knew the term cringe. Um, me and my sister used to have like a name for it, a certain name, and we'd see something on TV that, that made us feel that way. Uh, you know, you're embarrassed to be there. You're embarrassed for everyone. <laughs> Forget what we used to call it, but it was before there was the, the word cringe was made popular, you know. So, uh, in the lyrics of this song, it talks about the movie uh, Casablanca. And they say, uh, one of the lines is, we had it all, like Foggy and Bacall. Uh, meaning Lawrence Bacall, Lawrence Bacall, Lauren Bacall, and um, Humphrey Bogart, who were were the stars of Casablanca. Well, now uh, Casablanca no longer has Lauren Bacall in it. It's got a uh, Ingrid Bergman. Is that who it is? I'll put it on the screen, but it, it's not Lauren Bacall anymore. Now, even though it's changed everywhere else. Uh, and the advertisements for the movie, the uh, the the text for it, um, the cast list, all this—it's changed in every other way. The song, it remains. Um, Lauren Bacall remains in the song, uh, and it he's attributed to that scene where uh, he says that classic line. Uh, so once again, uh, the music escapes the the grip of the Mandela effect, and I wonder why that is. I have a lot of examples of this, um, from album covers to lyrics, and just a few of them. There's um, the Mandela effect where mirror, mirror on the wall has been changed to magic mirror on the wall. Well, mirror, mirror on the wall still exists as part of lyrics of a, a Genesis song called Squonk. And also a Duran Duran live album called Thanksgiving Live, where at the beginning of the show they play dialogue from a, a, a sped up sort of a, affected with effects dialogue from the Disney film, where she says, uh, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall. And the other day I was watching some old wrestling videos, and there's one with uh, Ric Flair, he's cutting a promo, or actually Jay Lethal's cutting a promo as Ric Flair, to Ric Flair. It's the damnedest thing you've ever seen, but in it, Ric Flair references Mirror Mirror on the Wall. That's not a music thing, but it's still residue. Um, Twisted Sister, they're 19, and if you've heard me go over this, uh, it, you know, before, uh, sorry, but you know, it's worth revisiting. Um, Twisted Sister released an album called Come Out and Play in 1985 and the album and the tour was based around like a street gang sort of aesthetic uh the promotional pictures for the album and all this other stuff were and the stage show was all based around a, a, a street gang type of vibe and the beginning of the album come out and play uh right before the title track come out and play kicks in d snyder the singer um does a a, a version of a scene from the film The Warriors, uh, where at the end of it's that late 70s film about, you, you know what the fucking Warriors is. Well, maybe you don't, but it's a film from the late 70s about street gangs. And at the end of the movie, um, the bad guy is looking for the Warriors. And he's in a car and he's holding these two bottles. And they're hiding under the pier and he's 
start singing uh warriors come out and play warriors come out and play so d at the beginning of the twisted sister album is singing twisted sister come out and play twisted sister come out and play and it goes into the first track come out and play from the album come out and play well the scene in the warriors is no longer come out and play it's come out to play it sounds ridiculous right it sounds ridiculous but um the album hasn't changed it's still come out and play and in fact uh i haven't checked lately but the last time no it's probably still there if you go to twisted sister um wikipedia entry for that album it talks about how it, the beginning of the album was based on that scene in the warriors where he tells the warriors to come out and play you know come out and play well now it's come out to play so what uh you know the bad memory bros are trying to tell me is that the band got the the quote wrong and the label and the people at the label missed it everybody involved with the album missed it it was just it was a, a failure at many levels <laughs> that they misquoted it and released it as it is i think they would have got it right now i've uh i contacted d and uh, J.J. French, and I've talked to them about other things before in the past, but neither of them got back to me on this. They might not have known what I was talking about, or maybe they do, I don't know, but I couldn't get an answer from them. But uh, yeah, it's, that's a big one right there, I mean. And then there's the Kinks album, uh, Think Visual, which was an album from 1985 or 86 on RCA Records. On the cover of the album is the Thinker statue. The Thinker statue as I remember it. Where he's got his hand on his head. Because he's thinking and that's, he's putting his hand to his head. And there's a lot of symbolism with the hand on the head thing there too. Uh, pineal gland activation. Pineal gland being uh, possibly the transmitter to uh, um, God, to the 5D. To where your body... Uh, the point where your frequency or spirit uh, tunes into your body through there. Uh, and that's why they put fluoride and everything so that they can calcify it. Most people's uh, pineal gland is calcified to a point where it's a fucking stone. Because that's pretty much your transmitter to God and where your all your stuff is... Of where you are, mainly, where the bigger all your stuff is. <laughs> that's why if you lose your head, you can't live. You know, that's where the top of the antenna comes in. You know, we've seen people that can exist with just a head and a torso. You know, we've seen people like mutations born that way or they're in a terrible accident and they're just like a head and a chest. You can sur survive any of that way that you can't live without your head. And I know, I know people say, well, yeah, because that's your... I know, I understand that too, but I'm saying... If you cut that transmitter off, you can't uh, broadcast your frequency to these bodies anymore. So you need to have that. So the thinker statue, some have said, is uh, supposed to be activating that, you know. But anyway, he used to look that way. And there's still people that you can find in photos making that, that, uh, that pose. But now it's, um, it's irrelevant now because he was never like that in this reality, in this version of the world. Um, yeah, music seems to remain unaffected. Rock and roll never forgets, is what I always jokingly say. Uh, I had more too. I did a whole video on it a couple of years ago about all the different music things I found that have remained inexplicably remained the same. Um, I didn't know I was going to talk about this, so I really didn't think about them uh, in, until I came out. But yeah, so lately I've, I've found that, that Casablanca one, uh, Lauren McCall was not in the film, so it makes the song wrong. You'll notice this a lot with Mandel effects too, where the changes make it so that it's nonsensical or it doesn't make or mean anything. Uh, like life was like a box of chocolate, um, a, a lot of stuff like that. And you can also, and when you have things like that, you can find residue where people say the original real thing. Like you've had people uh, parody that scene from Forrest Gump in comedy shows and stuff like that where they say the correct line. 
same thing like if you build it they will come you know people still say that but the real line the real line in this reality is if you build it he will come how many times have you seen people uh in like a comedy way i'm thinking a movie tommy boy where he's playing with the band and he's like luke i am your father well in star wars he never says luke anymore it's, he just says i'm your father which um is wrong for a whole lot of reasons it's not what you would say there um contextually it doesn't uh have the impact of if he said his name and then said it so same thing with the dolly braces thing like why would there be a connection between the two of them if she doesn't have the fucking braces and then later you can find a commercial i think it's avis or something or a, uh, an airline where the woman behind the counter has braces and she connects with jaws the guy who played the character in the movie in Moonraker is in the commercial as well. So the, when you see stuff like this, it's, they, it's called residue in the um, sort of Mandala effect circles. But there's a lot of it in music. And um, yeah, I just noticed that one. And I'd never heard anyone mention it before, so I wanted to make note of it. All right, well, note made. Well, all right then. I'll see you guys soon. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school.